Hello all, welcome to Python Vibes YouTube channel. In this channel, we will be posting all the Python based interview questions and answers along with the explanation. These videos will help you to understand the Python basic and advanced concepts and provide you the guidance to build programming logics so that you can crack your coding interviews easily. If you found these videos helpful for you, kindly like, share, and subscribe to Python Vibes YouTube channel. Let's get into our today's video. Our next interview question is. Find the second largest number from a given list. We will be given with list of numbers as an input. And we need to find the second largest number. So we will look at the steps to approach this problem. There are five steps in total. So we will look at one by one. The first and foremost step is to initialize the two variables as largest and second largest. Second step is iterate over the list of numbers. Third step is check if the number is greater than the largest number and assign the values of largest and second largest values accordingly and next we need to check whether the number is greater than the second largest and the number is not equals to the largest number and finally return the second largest number let me open id and here i had taken one input list with all these elements and as per the steps we discussed earlier i had to initiate two variables which are largest and second largest so right now I am initiating to the negative infinity value and later I had to loop over the elements inside this list and then I had to check whether this number is greater than the largest number or not. If it is greater than the largest then I had to assign largest number to the second largest and current number to the largest. Otherwise I had to write another condition where this number is greater than the second largest number and, and the number shouldn't be equals to the largest number then I can assign my current number to the second largest number and finally we got second largest number as 4 we will see step by step what is happening here initially we had taken largest and second largest values as minus infinity as there can be negative values inside this input list and later we are iterating over the input list which is L and for the first iteration the number becomes 1 and it checks whether and the largest was having minus infinity and it checks here whether number is greater than or not greater than the minus infinity or not so yes number 1 is greater than minus infinity value so it comes inside this if condition and assigns the largest value to the second largest and right now we have largest value as minus infinity that is been assigned to second largest and the current number is been assigned to the largest number for the second iteration we have number as 2 and largest value became 1 so then it checks whether number 2 is greater than or not greater than 1 or not so 2 is greater than 1 so this evaluates to true then it comes inside this if condition and assigns the largest value which was 1 to the second largest and the current number to the largest. So we have current number as 2. For the third iteration we have number as 3 and largest as 2 and then it checks in the if condition as p is greater than 2. So that has been evaluated to true. It comes inside this if condition and it second largest will become 2 and the largest will be assigned with current number which is 3. For the fourth iteration, we have number as 1 and the largest number is 3 and it checks the if condition whether 1 is greater than or greater than 3 or not. This evaluates to false. Again, it checks whether the number is greater than second largest number or not. So, 1 is greater than the second largest number which is 2. So, this evaluates to false. For the next iteration, number becomes 5 and the largest is been same which was 3. And then it checks whether number 5 is greater than 3 or not. So 5 is greater than 3. So this evaluates to true. And it comes to the if condition and assign the second largest value as the largest which was 3. And largest value as 5. And for the next iteration number becomes 4. And it checks whether so 4 is greater than 5 or not. No, it is not. So the condition will evaluate to false and it comes to the elif condition here and it will check number is greater than second largest or not. 4 is greater than 3. Yes. 
and we also have another condition both these conditions evaluates to true then the second largest value is been assigned with the current number which is 4 final iteration number becomes 5 largest is been 5 5 is not greater than 5 so this this evaluates to false and it checks for elif condition yes 5 is greater than 4 that is true and also we have another condition where number is not equals to largest so number 5 is not equals to 5 which evaluates to false so the entire condition becomes false so we don't have any other numbers to check so as a end we are printing the second largest we have stored second largest value as 4 and the same is been printed on our screen so if we see second largest as 4 we got second largest value as 4 that's all guys thanks for watching this video if you found this video helpful kindly like share and subscribe to pythowipes youtube channel thank you